Hello everybody, it is Reaper Games, and I wanted to talk today about something that always baffles me when it comes to the game Dead by Daylight. As a gamer, no matter what game, I'm sure we have all experienced toxicity in different ways. There is definitely a debate on which game has the most toxic community, but it's really hard to pinpoint which one is more toxic if you haven't played every single game and fully know the communities. What I do know, however, from my 26 years of being on this planet is Dead by Daylight has the most entitled fan bases in gaming history. I've been playing multiplayer games my whole life and even though many fan bases are known for throwing insults, slurs, etc, never in my life have I seen a game's core audience be so insanely entitled than this game's. For those of you who are new at DVD, this game is an asymmetrical horror multiplayer game where four survivors try to make it out of a trial while one killer tries to stop them. There's much more nuance on how the game works, but what if I told you that these survivors on a regular basis ask the killer to take it easy on them? Let's relate this to another game, say Overwatch. Let's say your team gets absolutely steamrolled and collectively you all decide to cry to the other players, you got destroyed, and you also complain that they should have gave you more of a chance because losing isn't fun. <laughs> Ridiculous, I know, but you'd be surprised how many times this happens in Dead by Daylight. I recently had an interaction with a salty survivor, who would have thought, who mentions how I ran the perk no one escapes death, but had a build that is too good for how hypocritical it is to spoil right now. I also got a comment that made me really want to make this video because it really shows how entitled some players really are. Before I show this comment, I wanted to mention that I have a firm belief that either side can run whatever they want and play however they want, unless they are cheating. I just love when killers think, oh I'm just trying to win with one gen left at 3 books south ill tunnel. When I first read this comment, I initially thought I was reading it wrong. What this comment says to me is he hates it when a killer decides to turn on their brain and act smart to try to get a win and that they're some sort of bad person for doing so. So I replied in ass, should killers just give up? I was honestly confused on what the criticism was because you can obviously tell that this person gets upset at a killer who tunnels when they aren't doing so hot. This is how they replied. No play how you were playing it's your fault you're at three hooks with one gen no reason to ruin a good game for survivors because you having a trash killer game survivors can have good games too just gotten know when to give it to them can't win them all guy one kill isn't that important camping and tunneling isn't fun for killer or survivor I just about lost my mind when I read this. So let me dissect this and try to make sense of it, especially applying his logic to the other side. Remember when I said there's more nuance to this game? Well, in the first part of their comment where they say it's your fault at three hooks with one gen can have so much nuance, making it not always be so cut and dry. Survivors can bring toolboxes with amazing stats or add-ons, which makes those toolboxes last longer or have that toolbox repair a gen a lot faster. Same also goes for perks, but Let's pause for a second. Let's run with this logic. By this logic, if you get tunneled out by a killer quickly, it's your fault as a survivor and you need to just get better. They say to keep playing how you were, so I'm only to assume that means as killer, if you're getting ran around by a person who's really good, just keep mindlessly chasing them. Fuck it. My favorite part of this comment is when they say, no reason to ruin a good game for survivors because you having a trash killer game. This doesn't make sense to me. So what you're saying is if you're doing bad, then you need to stay doing bad and not strategize or not think about your next plays. Let's be clear, this person thinks playing dumb and giving survivors free escapes is fun? Going back to applying this logic to killer, if a killer is doing terribly and only has two hooks with one gen almost done, as a survivor, you have to let go of that gen and give the killer free hooks and even possibly two kills since we always have to consider other people's fun. It's only fair, right? You say you can't win them all, but this goes for the survivor side as well. I find it crazy and quite honestly obnoxious when a survivor says all this but will throw a fit because the killer decides to tunnel, slug, or camp. By this person's logic, I can slug an entire team of survivors at 5 gens because, you know, you can't win them all, right? Survivors with this mindset are not concerned about a killer's fun if they win, but if they lose, they go nuts. I'm not being entitled guy, I have bad killer games too, but there's no reason for me to tunnel and proxy camp for one kill when you know you aren't getting any more. 
if the survivor wants to give a free kill at the end then sweet but no survivors shouldn't stop gens and give free hooks just because killer is having one bad game what's the point in that i mean come on how can you call it gen rushing when you wasted over the first minute to break one pallet that's what you get for playing like that as the clown with one gen perk all it takes is the survivors the split gens at the start that's you committing to chaser instead of dethotching to gens also everyone knows clown is useless if you spread out maybe try different killer or perks instead if you gotta play like that. He totally lost me when he said no survivor should stop gens and give free hooks just because killer is having one bad game, what's the point in that? I'm not sure if they realize they're being hypocritical, but they also said in their first reply, just gotta know when to give it to them, can't win them all guy. Either you give free wins across the board or you play how you want to try to win no matter what you do or what you bring. If you want to watch the video they are specifically referencing, I'll put the link in the description. They say in that video I was playing clown and clown is bad so I should essentially give up or run cheese perks. I can't even think of finding other ways to try and win. I'm not going to go into this reply any further since this is already getting long winded so I'll show you my reply. You can pause the read. Lastly, I fully understand how tunneling can be seen as annoying. But you know what's also annoying? Getting gen rushed. Would it be appropriate of me to tell survivors they can't bring toolboxes or do gens fast because I'm not having fun? Of course not. At the end of the day, play the game how you want to play and don't let people with this entitled mindset ruin your experience. Both sides are playing to win and it is crazy to expect either side to go by certain rules. Okay, well that's mainly what I wanted to talk about in this video. And now on to the really funny hypocritical salt that ties this all together. I hope you all enjoyed this one. There will be another long awaited build video coming very soon. If you're not a member, check the link down below to get more info about all the goodies I offer to all my members. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to help me reach my goal of 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I love you all and I hope you had an amazing day today. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. I, I made a video about this, uh, about sk <sighs> The reason why I love this game so much is, well, first of all, you guys, but second of all, like, aliens in it. The, the coolest killers are in this game. I want to love this game more than I do. I want to fucking play this game all the time, even for a job. Which hopefully we can in the future, but I, I feel like there's there needs to be a lot more changes to this game. And it, like, it's still wild to me that, uh, you know, again, it takes fucking, uh, it takes more than 1k hours to get good at it. Like, I, I used to play TF2 all the time with my friends, and that was the most we had on there. I had, like, three to 500 hours, and I was like, damn, that's a lot of fucking time. But I guess not in the grand scheme of things. Okay, she... I don't know if she knows how to loop well. I, I don't... I wouldn't seem so. I heard a turret being set up. Don't tell me. Okay, good. Alright, pop. Let's go. Let's use our perks. What was that? Did she have a styptic or something? See, it's like I can't even tell anymore. What? That's definitely not that hard because I didn't hook you. What? All right, we're not gonna let it get to us. I'm just so confused on what that was. That had to be like a styptic or something already. But she doesn't have a toolbox. What? Or uh, a med kit. Am I missing something? This is her first chase. What? Chad, do you know what that was? 
Oh, it consumed the whole mess? Maybe it was. I thought you could still see it, I don't know. I thought they would still have a medkit in their hand. Maybe I was mistaken. See, it's like, god damn, I need to like figure out what the fuck second, third chance there is. Oh no, you're done for. Okay, she... Hopefully she doesn't turn on her brain because all she's doing is running straight and not looking behind her. I feel like that's how they get you, these players. They make you think like, oh, I can't... I can't loop. But they are actually gods when you get to that point. Is that like the new thing survivors do? Is that like a new tech? Okay, cool. Thanks, chat. I didn't want them all too much, but I was like, Jesus, already we got hit with a second chance. Okay. See you later. All she's doing is running straight. Ah, uh, this is my last game, dude. Sorry. He came in on the last second. What? Thank you so much, Epic Player. 3, 2, 1 for the sub, brother. You can always watch the vibe, my brother. Because I got work. I shouldn't even be on this long, but... That's what it is. Okay. Let me hit this with pop. Thank God for no ed. Oh, okay. I was going to say, where the fuck did he go? Oh my god. Huh, that was risky. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Yeah, I always do that. All the fucking time. Alright, I need to drop down, hit that with pop. Immediately. One chase equals one gen, usually. What the fuck? Bruh. What should I do? What the fuck? Where'd she go? Okay. Damn it. What a fucking shame. I love when they disappear. I think she has distortion, the... Whatever the hell her name is. Ken GX. Oh, I'm excuse... Right, 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 right. 
frame rate. Bruh. Dead hard. Not surprised. If she doesn't have a medkit with a stiff dick, I'm going to lose my mind. I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. I just want this game to be over at this point. This Lori has gotten so lucky. No. Yeah, I, I, that's why I'm just, like, out of it, because I'm just used to that, like, bunch of distortion, bunch of second chances and all that, like, gens are flying, it seems, you know, it, it's hard to strategize when gens are just constantly just going off, like, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I can do, but in the moment, I'm just not thinking of the checklist I have to go through, you know? Especially when they send you to a map that favors them. This is gonna cost me a gen too. It's every chase I get into, no matter how long it costs me a gen. That was pretty nice. I'm ready for the last gen to be popped. Yeah, see? If we could just decrease, just by a little bit, not a lot, the gen timer, how long it takes. Oh, she's at the gate. Fuck me. I don't know, something tells me she's still here. I don't know, I could be wrong. I knew it! Oh my god, she is! Nice fucking try, dude. Send me to a map. <laughs> there we go, we ended on a win, thank god. Oh! Jesus Christ. No user XD. GGS bum. No way y'all are talking! No way you're talking to me! Dead hard, decisive, off the record, deliverance with a brand new part toolbox with a eerie, dead hard, adrenaline, fucking stip dick with a, another brand new part, distortion, I, you, you can't make this up. This video is literally about run whatever the hell you want to run and play however the hell you want because people like this are the same people that teabag you and think they are all high and mighty because they escaped even though they're running two brand new parts, a stip dick, multiple second chance perks, and once you have no ed, she still got upset. <laughs>